In this video, I'll be going over five applications I use on my Mac Mini M1 every single day to make me more productive working from home. Thank you everyone that has hit that subscribe button. And if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. This is the Elevate Project. I'm Ryan to help you with your home office tech and help you elevate your online presentations working from home. So this video was a special request from one of my subscribers. So shout out to you, Hardik Rana. If you have special requests, leave me your suggestions in the comments below. This request was for productivity apps I use the most on my Mac Mini M1 in my daily workflow. I have five applications to help me work faster and be more productive working on projects and make it easier to do my day to day. And if you watch till the end, I will share two Mac features I absolutely love and use daily. Hopefully you find value in this video to help you as well. I'm gonna go over all five applications in no specific order, starting with Moom. Working on a 49 inch ultra wide display gives me a lot of screen real estate and Moom helps me quickly position my windows with customized keyboard shortcuts or snapping to corners, similar to what is offered on Windows. With a lot of office apps I use regularly on a daily basis, this is so handy and saves me time and increases my productivity. Even if I connect to a different display, it continues to work and positions my windows based on the screen size. Now, Moom can also remember my regular layouts and reposition my workflows to all my windows open that help me work faster. Moom is a paid application, which is around $10 and worth it when working regularly with multiple windows. The second application I use is Grammarly. I love this app because I typically type like I speak, which isn't always grammar friendly. Grammarly has a free version and a paid version. I use the free version on my Mac Mini M1, which extends to my office apps like Word, PowerPoint, Notes, Mail, and even iMessage. This helps me just type my ideas and thoughts with confidence. This is a lifesaver, which helps me stay professional, communicate effectively, even when sending iMessage and WhatsApp messages. The free version includes spelling, grammar, and punctuation. The paid premium offers everything in the free version and clarity-focused sentence rewrites, tone adjustments, plagiarism detection, word choice, formality level, fluency, and additional advanced suggestions. The third application I use every single day is Apple Notes. I love Apple Notes because it has become a powerful tool that I can quickly take notes, add links, add pictures, and copy and paste information that I can sync through iCloud to my other Apple devices. Within the app, I can also create folders, make to-do lists, and password protect any sensitive notes if needed. If you have found any value so far, hit that like button so I know you like content like this one. The fourth application I use is Hazover. I love the screen real estate that my monitor gives, but can be overwhelming when you wanna focus on one application. Other applications can become a distraction and take away from what's important now. With Hazover, it is a simple application that lets you focus on that app you are working on and dims the rest of the screen. Very useful when you need to just sit back and focus and get work done, especially on an ultra wide or large display. I like to change the theme of my Mac OS into light mode and have haze over do its thing and dim the rest of my display. Like I said, so simple, but so effective. So if you made it this far, I have one more application to go over and stay till the end for two features I love and it is very useful and powerful for my productivity workflow that is built into macOS Monterey. So the fifth and last application on this list is Notion. This is a great application for my personal projects like YouTube for planning and execution. It is fantastic for various different things like to-do lists, notes, calendar, wish lists. It can be a little complex at first, but the templates gets you started and then it becomes like a box of Lego that you can start to build what you want Notion to do for you. Notion is also great as it is available on iOS, Windows and web browsers. So that is the five apps I use the most every single day. Thank you for staying to the end. So like I said earlier, I have two features in Mac OS that I use to stay productive, starting with Sidecar. 
When I need a second or third monitor for online presentations, I just need an extra screen for reference notes and sidecar is still my go-to feature. On the Mac Mini M1, it is restricted to two physical monitors and I will sometimes use my 49 inch monitor as two monitors with two inputs. And then as you can see here, using sidecar, I have a third monitor using my iPad Pro. It's very useful when sharing my screen online presentations, dedicating a monitor without a cluttered desktop and not mistakenly have open windows that don't need to be seen. The second feature is universal control. The ability to use one mouse and keyboard between my work MacBook Air, my Mac Mini M1 and my iPad Pro. In my workflow, there are certain apps that I can only access on iOS. Without missing a beat, I can simply use universal control with my keyboard and mouse and I am good to go. So these are the apps and features I use the most to stay productive working from home. If you found value in this video, hit the like button and consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you're notified when I upload a new video. Be safe, stay awesome, and I'll catch you in the next one.